All right, here we are again. And I came down in the basement to get something out of the freezer and heard a click. One of the upstairs zones is calling for heat. I got this switch here. I can basically uh, determine if the end switch from the zone relays goes to the aquastat on the oil boiler or the one in the coal boiler. Um, it's on the coal boiler right now and you can see the aquastat says PUR for purge. Uh, so what it's doing is it's going to prevent the stoker from firing um, until the uh, temperature of the boiler water reaches the control set point which uh, I have it set at I think 150 low I can cycle through the settings and what it does it calculates a target temperature um, which right now is 160 degrees um, so it's going to pull the boiler temperature down to 150 degrees uh, so let's see what the oil boiler says. Uh, that's saying about 160. Same on this, which you'd expect they'd be very close. The circulator between the two is running. Um, anyway, it'll pull it down to 150 degrees. The stoker will start. It'll go up to 160 degrees, and it'll cycle between those two set points a couple times. And if... Uh, the heat call isn't satisfied, it'll increase the set point to 170 degrees, for example, and it'll keep doing that. And uh, it can satisfy a lot of heat calls without uh, ever starting the stoker. The heat stored in the two boilers is enough. Uh, and for small zones, like my bathrooms and stuff like that, it uh, it doesn't even really pull the temperature down more than a degree or two. It has to be a zone like the main floor to really make much of a difference, but it's definitely uh, saves some coal and keeps the boiler temperature very stable.